judges, the historian, they don't know. They simply just does not know. In fact, we are so ignorant as to who we are and where we came from, we call it Africa, we call it Ethiopia, we call it Abyssinia, we call it al Cable land, we call it a whole bunch of stuff. But did it have a name? Did we give it a name? We didn't have any dictionaries to talk any language. You see, we believe that the African man had a dictionary and that we were wise. And we make the mistake in saying that we had, we had wise men and scientists in teamwork too. Do, do, do you know what you're saying? That you have violators because scientists violate Mother Nature. That's all they're dedicated to do. We don't have any of that. We are not wise people. We, we are not brilliant people. We are cosmic people. Because an elephant it isn't spiritual, isn't it? And he isn't intelligent. But he's cosmic because he eats the food that is designed for him. With us, we are everything but that. So what that does is to take us out of sync. And now we are not communicating. I am speaking a language that doesn't resonate with me. It came out of Europe. Not Africa. Yes. The other thing, I put some roti in my mouth and some rice and beans. I put some goat. I, I put some lamb. And that stuff is European. So again, I'm offending myself. I have no idea as to who I am. The rest of the herbalists in the world were making a very drastic mistake. They read books. In the books, they talk about comfrey, aloe vera, they talk about garlic, they talk about peppermint. All these things are deadly poison. But the herbalist doesn't know that because he read a book. Yeah. See, when you read books, you're a zombie. You know nothing. So is that the same as religion? What you say? Is that the same as religion? The same as religion because when we talk of religions, there isn't a religion in the world that asks you to eat the food that God made. Every one of them undermine your health, whether Christianity, Islam, Buddha, Shinto, or even the Bhagavad Gita from India, they all eat garbage. They eat starch and blood. So what is the benefit of me being religious? I am not well, religious. One of the famous, most popular books it says herbs is for the healing of the nation. Herbs are for the healing of the nations. But when that book talks about herb are for the healing of the nation, you're referring to the Bible. But the Bible doesn't tell you what herb. You don't know. No. And we African people, we're no longer Africans. Mm -hmm. We're something other than African. Yes. We don't know what it is that we are. All we do, we, we just walk around reading That's books true. and talking about we black and yeah. and Haley Selassie and, <laughs> hey, and that, it, it, it dies there. Yes. But we are not about constructing that which was destroyed. No, we're not about that. We are not about understanding that there is such thing as full gene consistency. And what do you mean by that? I mean everything. Gorilla doesn't need polar bear food. We eat everybody's food but our own. And then we walk around the street being smart. And everybody knows that we're not, including the white man. The white man knows that as long as you eat his food, you will never get anywhere. Because gorillas was to eat polar bear food it has been seen in Kenya. There was an experiment for 10 years yeah. in which they gave a gorilla. First, they took the leaves and they put the blood on it, little by little, little by little, little by little, then little pieces of meat, grind meat. And at the ending of 10 years, the gorilla was fighting for a bone. Some that gorillas never do. Never do. And that's what we're doing. We are fighting with ourselves so much that our conversation is not about reconstructing ourselves. It's about the white man. It's about the white man. It's about the white man and what the white man did. Well, if I was a white man and I had you in bondage and you talk about me all the time, I'd be drinking my martini because I know that's all you're going to do is talk. <laughs> but I know you're not going to do something to rectify your condition. That I already know. They, they have the land. I have the Bible and the Quran. Oh, that's what I always said. The white man have all the gold and we have the Bible. Yeah. So give him back the Bible and we take back the gold. She be scared now. We live in fear. Me, the only person I fear was my mama. 
Because the biggest testicles I would tell anyone was hanging on my mama. That's why it was easy for me to see, just like the Arabs, they should be Muslims. Just like the Europeans, they should be Christians. Should just be? like the Chinese should be Buddhist and Tao, but I'm an African. So what should we be? What should we be? As an African. Ourselves. We are all Africans. That's all we have, and that is all we need. Since the other religions came, Africa is divided and Africa is in a state of disarray. So, I hope that this information will be assimilated and utilized because we're living in times in which we are experiencing a high degree of stress in which we are responding to each other like we are other than a human being. So we are asking you to please at least give this perspective a chance, not for our sake, but because of your own sake. Your Bible teaches you that the herbs are for the healing of the nation. Your Quran teaches you that the trees are for healing. Well, we don't want to really go astray from that. Let us be obedient, at least for once in our life, to God Almighty. And I thank you very much. They said that we were created equal. And that's far from the truth. Because if you put me alongside a Norwegian, and you tell me that you don't see a difference, I know you need glasses.